Right, I'm here in year six. I'm in an empty classroom, as you can see behind me. Nobody else here. The year sixes are currently working next door. Hopefully this will be the last time that our school classrooms will be empty for, for some time to come. So just a quick message from me about our expectations and our plans thinking ahead to, to Monday next week. Lots of you have been in school over this time, but more of you have been at home. So I know it's going to be a slightly daunting time. You'll be a bit worried. You'll be a bit nervous. You'll also be a bit excited, hopefully, as well, and happy to be coming back. So just a, just a quick message from me. Um, so I've emailed your parents lots of plans about what we're going to do when you come back to school. And those plans are on our website as well, if you want to have a look at them. It's going to be pretty much how it was back in September, if you can remember, back into the autumn term. So our arrival time, we're going to stagger between 8.45 and 9.05. You can come any time between those points and you'll arrive at school, go across the playground and go into one of the doors, either the upper school door or the lower school door. There'll be lots of staff on hand so you'll know where to go. Please try not to arrive too much before 8.45. We do want to keep numbers low as low as we possibly can um, and please try to avoid congregating around the school gates and on the playground obviously you use lots of space to um, on the playground to keep yourself apart from other people i'm also going to ask you not to use the adventure playgrounds and the outdoor gym either before school or after school we need to keep that nice and clean so we don't want to have lots of hands on that before and at the end of the school day Break times and lunch times will be staggered as they were before. Hot school meals will come back, so if you're having a hot dinner, you'll be down in the hall. If you're having sandwiches, you'll be in the classroom to start with, and then hopefully on the field when it gets a bit warmer. And just like we did in the autumn term, half of you will be inside, half of you will be outside, and then you'll swap over. So you'll all get equal play time at lunch times. At the end of the day, we're going to stagger. And if you're in year three and year four, you're going to be leaving at 3.10. If you're in year five and six, you're going to be leaving at 3.20. So only 10 minutes. So we, we try and minimise that time as much as we can. But it just allows you in your bubbles to, to leave separately, just so we're all 240 of us aren't leaving at the same time. You're going to be back wearing your school uniform. I'm going to have to remind myself over the weekend how to put a tie back on. So we're going to be back in our school uniform. Now, we are very aware that lots of you might have grown out of uniform. You might have grown out of your shoes. Um, so we'll give you a bit of flexibility on that. But we're going to ask you to wear uniform from Monday next week. We'll also let you know when your PE days are and when your forest school days are so that you can um, come to school wearing PE kit or forest school kit. Similarly, you can change into them if you want to. That's not a problem. So you will probably have heard lots in the news about catch up. And catch up is a phrase that I'm actually, I don't really want us to use um, because actually all schools have been closed. So I'm not quite sure who we're trying to catch up with because all schools have been closed and You've all been doing work either at home or at school. So for us to say catch up, I feel that's the wrong phrase. We're going to be looking more at recovery. We're going to be making sure that we're all back together and we're going to recover so that we can try and work out what we need to do to get everybody in the same place. Um, so you'll hear us talking about recovery, certainly not catch up. We're not going to bombard you with any tests when you come back. The, the priority for us for the spring term, for the first four weeks, the priority will be to get everybody back into the routine of school, into the, root, uh, the, the rules of school again, the, the school day, um, and making sure that you're happy. That's going to be our priority, to make sure that when you come back, you're happy and you're able to learn again. In my opinion, children only learn best, and adults only learn best when they're happy. So that's going to be our priority. We've got lots of whole school activities going on in the first couple of weeks. There's some projects that we've got. Now, we're not going to be able to do them together, but we're going, to, we're going to do them in our class bubbles and then put them together at the end of it. I won't spoil the surprise now and tell you what they're going to be, but there'll be lots of fun activities that we've, that we've planned already for you to do. So the first four weeks leading up to the Easter holidays, our priority is going to be getting you back, back into the routines, back into the days of the, the, the working school day and making sure that you're happy and that you're, you're safe coming to school. There'll be no tests in, in week one that we're going to bombard you with, fear not. That's about it for me for now. Hopefully everything else you need to know is in the plan that I've sent home. Um, and we really do look forward to seeing you all on Monday. We know that you're going to be a bit worried, as I said. We know that you're going to be a bit anxious about some things. 
if you have any questions, we're all here to help. We're, we're going to be feeling a bit nervous too, so please ask us and together we'll make sure we get through this together. I look forward to seeing you all bright and breezy on Monday morning. Bye-bye. Welcome to an early morning tour of Church Church Village Junior School. It's nice and early, so there's nobody else here. I'm just going to give you a quick wander around the school just so you can see what to expect when you come back in uh, on the 1st of March. So, the entrance is exactly as it was before. So you come in through the, the main gates, the main green gates there by the school kitchen. And then in the mornings, you're going to come this way through the gap here, as you always have done before. And you're going to come onto the school playgrounds and you're going to go straight into the classrooms either by the year five six door which is the first one or the year three four door at the bottom we're going to ask you to come to school between 8 45 and 9 05 please try not to come to school too much before that our base children will be here and they may be on the playground so we will ask you to to keep your distance um, when you are on the playgrounds now the adventure uh, playground and the outdoor gym does look amazing i'm not going to give you a demonstration right now but we're going to ask that you do not use that before or after school while you're waiting for either to go in or for um, children to come out if that's siblings at the infants because we have to keep that nice and clean so we're going to ask you to stay off that please in the mornings and after school the children will be allowed to use it during the day but obviously we'll be keeping that nice and clean so everybody can use it so when you come into school in the mornings and at break times and at lunch times, the corridors are exactly the same as they were before, but we have got some new stickers down on the floor to make things nice and fresh, just so you can see the direction to go. And I hope you'll all remember from when we were here just before Christmas that we go on the left-hand side. There are lots of signs that tell you to keep left. And looking down the corridor towards the hall, you can see the arrows there telling you to keep to the left, exactly the same as before and panning around the other way down here as well so just a reminder to keep you on the left hand side as you're walking down the corridor so we can keep our gaps year three and year four are going to be going out to break first um, in the morning and then year five and year six will go out afterwards and lunch times half of you will be in half of you will be out so you'll all get equal time to play outside toilets as they were before we we'll try and minimize the numbers There'll be lots of hand soap, lots of hand sanitizer, and we're going to keep encouraging you to do your hand washing for 20 seconds. And we'll get on to year three. So exactly the same as it was before. And we look forward to seeing you on Monday. So I'm in 6G at the moment, but most of the classrooms look fairly similar to this layout. So as you can see, the tables are still going to be side by side facing the front and that is the guidance that we've had, so we need to keep people facing forwards. We're hoping that we can go back to our group tables later on in the, the summer term, but for now, all facing forwards as it was before Christmas, so no real change in the classroom. And obviously, you've all got doors outside, and we'll try and keep you outdoors as much as we possibly can, so don't forget your mile day trainers, and obviously you'll have forest school, PE, all of those sorts of things will carry on when we come back. I mean, the hall at the moment, not much has changed in here either. Hot dinners will be returning from Monday next week, and we will still be using the hall for PE activities, those sorts of things, but unfortunately, we're not gonna be allowed to have whole school assemblies at the moment, so we'll keep our Friday morning online assembly, definitely. There'll also be some other assemblies thrown in for good measure, mainly online, and we'll hopefully have some year group assemblies as the weeks move on. The main reception area looks almost the same as it did when you were here back in December. The only difference is the walls have been painted. Mrs. Perk has been very busy and some of the pictures have been moved around, but we're still, the layout's exactly the same. So if you need to see Mrs. Perk or if you need to come down to the medical room during the day, this will still be available for you. Unfortunately for parents, we're still not allowed to have parents in the school building at the moment without an appointment to see a teacher. Um, so if you do want to contact us, either see somebody who's on the door when you bring the children in or at the end of the day, or you can phone us or you can drop us an email as well.